Business Brain, episode 454 for Friday, June 2nd, 2023. (music) Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take all kinds of things in our lives, could be our business, could be our personal lives, could be a hobby, whatever, And we put them through the filter of our business brains to get a better perspective, to get a different perspective, and to unlock those keys for us to live that charmed life. Sponsors include found.com slash brain, which is business banking that tracks your expenses, helps you find write-offs and all kinds of things. And checker.com slash business brain. That's checker with just the R at the end, C-H-E-C-K-R where you can save 40 bucks off your first background check. We'll talk more about each of those in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, on Casual Friday, I'm Dave Hamilton. And in Lafayette, California, happy Friday, Dave. It's Shannon Jean. Yeah, man. I, uh, yeah, it's happy Friday. It's good. You know, I, I, um, I was noticing because I named it this way that our theme music is from 2017. That's six years old. Now, wow. I, yeah, right? <laughs> like the new theme music is 2017. The old stuff goes back, you know, five years yeah. before that or something, or four years before that. I, we intentionally didn't change it when we changed the name of the yep. show last summer because we wanted there to be consistency other than the name and the the, the focus. But, uh, but I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's time to find some more music. I, I think know. so. I think yeah, it's yeah. great. Something yeah, yeah. Uh, always do for an upgrade, right? Uh, you know, it's it. Not that there's a sense of urgency to it, but it would be good. I know we've talked about it a little bit before. Yeah, man. It would well, be great. Last yeah. week we, or not last week, two days ago, we talked about how we're hustlers and we put in the effort and how to instill that in our teams and how important yep. that is. And as you just mentioned. There's also a level of importance to maintaining a sense of urgency, to responding to people, to staying on top of all of those things that we need to do as business owners. Yeah, that that is, uh, it's the other side to this conversation on effort is, can you instill or how do you instill a sense of urgency in your organization? Not, not to the to a point where people are making mistakes because they're they're so pressured to run so fast. Sure, but uh, what, well, that's what, part of it. Like being allowed well, to make the occasional mistake yeah, is important. That's good. Yeah, I, yeah, I and and not being like I used to tell people: look, do it. Always make the decision. Don't wait if you're unsure. I still want you to make the decision. However, you need to be open to constructive criticism because we want to analyze the decisions to say, okay. That was great. You made it and you, you solved that problem. This is some other ways that, you know, I would have done it. Absolutely. Um, So I, I I think there's the, how to instill the sense of urgency in others is certainly a good thing to talk about. But before we talk about that is maintaining and even instilling that sense of urgency in ourselves. And when I break this down, it's come for me, The best example I can give is the email that I read and it distracts me because there's something in it, right? And let's say it's end of the day or even after hours. If I have bothered to check my email, my brain is on this thing. I am, it is now, you know, it has my attention. I can do one of two things. I can choose to try and ignore it and punt it off until the next day, let's say, or I can just deal with it in that moment. And if I've seen the email, I almost always will just dive into it because why not? My head's well, already I, here. I, yeah, I, I, I would argue you're not going to ignore it even if you do ignore well, it. Well, right. You're going to be I'm, thinking about it. I'm going to delay my response is what I'm going to do, yes. but I'm, I'm going to be yep. thinking about it. Now, sometimes thinking about it is a good thing. Knowing that like trying to objectively look at what would my knee jerk response to this be and then is that good or is there a little bit of emotion in that that maybe there shouldn't be and if if the answer is the latter then i will often punt it off and let myself cogitate but i know that i'm going to cogitate like this is not 
an, it, me choosing to ignore it. It's me choosing to think more about it, knowing that it's going to occupy my thoughts. But otherwise, if it's something that I can answer quickly, I will answer it quickly for someone. And I can tell you, as I'm sure you can tell me, that this has been chiefly responsible for a lot of my success over the years and my business's success because people love responsive people. Like if they sent me something, if my head's already in it, I just answer. If I, if I yeah. don't see it and and I don't and I don't answer until, you know, whatever, eight o'clock, nine o'clock the next morning, that's fine. Like it, it's okay not to see something after hours. But if I see something and I'm like and I know what I'm how I'm gonna answer and I can do it in two minutes or less. That's my that's my metric on this. If it can take me two minutes or less, and then it's out of sight, out of mind, filed, I don't have to think about it again tomorrow, I'm in. Yeah, I love it. I think that's a great idea. Uh, I think it's it's very important. And you can even, like you said, leading by example, we talked about there's some physical ways you can do it, as well as some uh, sentence stems that you can become used to using all the time that help instill that sense of urgency. Um, and uh, I'd love to talk more about that. Hey, are you a business owner or manager? If so, listen up, because we've got something that'll make your life a whole lot easier. Your employees are the backbone of your business. Hiring people with the right skills that you and your team can trust is essential. So before you submit an offer letter to a new hire, do a quick background check with our sponsor, Checker. That's C-H-E-C-K-R. Checker makes it easy to get fast, comprehensive results so you can hire with confidence. Just sign up, select a package, and start a background check. It's that simple. Access your online background check dashboard anytime to place an order, review results, and make a decision in minutes. Checker's advanced technology and proprietary data network deliver 98% of nationwide criminal checks within one hour. This means you can get the information you need quickly. But that's not all. Checker also helps take the bias out of the background check process to support fair and inclusive hiring. They believe in leveling the playing field for everyone. Best of all, Checker is commitment-free with affordable, pay-as-you-go pricing that is customizable to fit your small business's needs. No long-term contracts or hidden fees. So why worry about hiring when you can trust Checker? It's time to take the stress out of finding the right people and you can hire with confidence. Sign up for Checker today. Right now, Checker is offering our listeners $40 off your first background check. Visit our special URL today to save $40. That's checker.com slash business brain. That's the word check and the letter R dot com slash business brain. C-H-E-C-K-R dot com slash business brain. And our thanks to Checker for sponsoring this episode. Here at Business Brain, we know that our brain power is best spent on running our business, right? Not on the annoying details of saving receipts, calculating our taxes, and categorizing expenses. What if there was something that could take care of all of that for us and free up more of our time? Well, there is. It's called Found. Found is a business banking app built specifically for the self-employed. It's all-in-one banking, meaning it comes with the smart tools you need to run your business. Manage your income, expenses, taxes, and invoicing all from the Found app. Even sign-up is easy. It's free and takes just minutes. Plus, if you spend $100 with your Found card within the first 30 days, you'll get a $25 bonus in your account. There's no commitment Try Found today and see what a difference it can make. Head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try Found today. Terms and conditions apply. Found is a financial technology company, not a bank. Found's banking services are provided by Piermont Bank, member FDIC. Remember, head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try Found today. And our thanks to Found for sponsoring this episode. Okay, so I mentioned a couple of different uh, sense of urgency methods and how to get that across. One is physical, and another one's verbal. Let's let's talk about the physical one first, and that okay. that's move just movement. Uh, it it's you know they have that management by walking around that phrase, but when you walk around through your organization, I would suggest that you move at a brisk pace. Mm. Uh, you can't run, maybe. Well, maybe you can, depending how how big it is. But when your people see you 
moving quickly with the sense of urgency that you need to get up to the front, you need to get to the warehouse to talk to these guys about X, you need to do whatever, you'll find that that people start mimicking what you're doing. And that physical manifestation, get out from your desk. I mean, you got to get out, walk around. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we've talked about that before. Like I used to love walking around the block with an employee at our other, one of our buildings and, and, you know, y- you need to move quick and they'll match your pace. You know, it, it, it really, it really works. I th- Yeah. I think uh, perhaps I would state it as moving with a sense of purpose not not yeah, necessarily yeah. with a sense of urgency and, sure. and it just because you don't want to seem harried, you don't want to seem stressed. You yeah, it's seem controlled. Focused. Yes, right. Yeah. Yes. So it's it, that, it, you're that right. You're not pulling purpose. your hair out. You're not setting fires around everybody. No, no, no. no. I mean you're that calm. happens sometimes. You yeah. know, if you're not yeah. calm, yeah. but you want to show that you're calm and focused. So that sense of purpose when you're working virtually with people, I can't communicate strongly enough how much attending zoom meetings from a standing position versus a sitting position changes that dynamic because you, they will see you moving physically. And when you are standing, you are kind of going to move around a little because that's just how our human bodies work. And it's going to show that you're moving around, even just in your little space around your desk with purpose, you are alert, you're focused you are uh, uh, like attentive. You are standing at attention with them. You're not slouching in your chair. I yeah, that's it, great. It is not yeah. uncommon for me to uh, raise my desk up before a Zoom meeting, even if I'm choosing to sit for the rest of the day. And I just move yeah, my chair out of the way, and I way go, more dynamic. You way know, way more. Your, yeah, it shows yeah. energy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love it. I think that's great. Yeah. And and for me, the verbal. Uh, part of getting this sense of urgency is I, 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 when I can, sometimes you have to tell people, look, I need it by X. Sure. But I found a better way and often a more persuasive way to do it is to ask them, how much time do you need to get this done? Oh, let them set the deadline. Yeah. It's way better because now some people slacks, so, Oh, I need two weeks or whatever. And you can call them back on that. Like, really? You know, that's how I would answer. Yeah. You know, if somebody told me an excessive amount of time, I would just say, really? Wow. You know, that's surprising to me, but they'll people learn over time. When you ask them, how much time do you need to get this done? You, you want it done in a timely manner. And often they will set a faster turnaround time than you would have done. Yeah, because you're going to so, try and be reasonable to them. You don't want yes. them to feel stressed. If yeah. you set the same deadline, like if let's say you know how long, how much time do you need? If it was gonna, if you were going to say Friday, and they were going to say Friday, if they say Friday, they will feel less stressed about that than if you said the exact same day, or even if you said two days later, because they set the deadline. They're in control. I, I, yeah, yeah. I think they might feel more stressed though, Dave. Because well, I think they're going to get it done, but I don't think they're going to be stressed about it. Maybe not stressed. Maybe yeah. a different sense of accountability. Uh, yes, is the, it's the, the accountability. Way I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, I agree yeah, with not that. stress. Yep. That that they because they said it, they verbalized right. it. Maybe they you own it. you have yeah you have to prompt them a little bit, perhaps, and sure. especially if somebody's new to your organization and you're like, hey, you know, okay, how, how much time do you need to get this done? We've developed, we had this, you know, conversation. You, these things are going to happen. Tell me how much time you need. And I, I just think that you you trying that method, uh, you might be surprised at how often deadlines that you would normally have set are, uh, you get much quicker turnaround time from people that set them themselves. I, I agree. You know, in yeah. the last episode, you said something when we were talking about putting in the effort, you said, always be following through, getting things done. I think when we're talking here about maintaining that sense of urgency, and responsiveness, I would say always be following up, make sure mm. yeah, that, yeah. and and you can do this with your employees and you can instruct them and train them to do this with everyone. When I send out a proposal, I, I make a note to follow up in whatever, two days, three days or something like that. Whenever I'm dealing with, with people, I always make a note to follow up if they haven't gotten back to me. Now, the system I use for that is a people called is a people is a a service called SaneBox. Uh, yeah. 
And, and it's it's amazing. I just all I have to do is BCC an address like. 2D for two days, or I could BCC two days at sanebox.com. And then if someone doesn't respond to me within two days, it puts it back in my inbox. And that's how I know to reply. It's it like that is life changing. Yeah. So, you know, always be following up. I think it's really important to uh, and train your staff both by following up with them and then by literally training them, you know, like I just did here, use sanebox, use some sort of system so that you don't have to try and remember because our memories are terrible. We think they're good. They're not. Yep. If you think your memory is good, that's your biggest uh, risk right now in your business. If you think you'll remember everything, that's the problem you need to solve. And I, I know you didn't want to hear this on a Friday, but uh, you know, <laughs> better today than tomorrow. So yeah. go fix it. Yeah, but, yeah. If you, but you know, if you have tricks or methods that, that you've used to have the sense of urgency, um, Please share them with us. We'd love to hear feedback at businessbrain.show. We want to share them with our other listeners, share these best practices, and uh, you get a chance to win a MacBook Air uh, we're going to give away this year. Like he said, feedback at businessbrain.show, and uh, you can be entered to win that MacBook Air. We love all the emails that are coming in from all of you folks. We love hearing from you. It's fantastic. Please check out our sponsors, found.com slash brain and checker.com slash business brain. Keep living that charmed life, folks, and we'll see you next week.